it is um Thursday and I just packed my bags because I am leaving for CoxCon tomorrow. I'm really excited. I'm gonna meet all my friends. When you're watching this video, it is Sunday and the month will be over. So it's time for a monthly nerdgasm. It's really difficult to uh, plan ahead, guys. I didn't know that, but um, something, something I've learned. As you may notice, I am wearing a Feels Carp Man shirt, which is a shirt that is for sale on my web shop. It is designed by my art guy, Fufu. You all know him, you all love him. He's a great dude. So that's, I got that today, so I thought why not wear it while I was at it. I also got a sweater. Yes! Um, they're all men's sizes, but you know, it's comfy. Right, what do we have this month? This month has been slightly Pokemon-ish, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the non-Pokemon related stuff first. That's this. Right, yeah, okay, got it. My boyfriend is a, a lovely, lovely human being, and last month we didn't get the Marvel Collector Score box because we didn't think it would be good, but then it turned out it had a Squirrel Girl pop in it, and um, we were both sad. So he got it for us anyway. He got his own one, I have mine. It is Squirrel Girl, it is super fucking cute. It has a little tiny squirrel friend with it and like I don't even, <sighs> I cannot even. This is the best. It's the only pop I got this month. I'm doing so well. You know I've been collecting the Animal Crossing Amiibo. So I got two more. Now I only need one more. I don't remember which one it is, like the cat, the cat villager. I got Kix and I got Timmy and Tommy and this one is absolutely the cutest thing I have ever fucking seen. If it, if it focuses on that thing, not my head. Look how cute that is. That is really cute. Also Kix is obviously a cutie too. Ah, cute as fuck, yeah. I love the Animal Crossing amiibo. I think they're really, really nicely made. Then um, from my boyfriend's anime loot box anime thing, I stole this because he doesn't play Splatoon and I do. So I got a squid. It is a loot crate exclusive. Calamar vert is what they call him in French. Nice. Before I continue with all the Pokemon stuff, I do want to talk about this show I've been watching called iZombie. That show is fucking awesome. It's great. If you haven't watched iZombie, go watch it. I think it's hilarious. It is, I've only watched the first season because that's on Netflix. Still gotta watch the second season, but I will. One second, it's really warm here. Let me open the door. So yeah, iZombie, check that out. I think it's really cool and funny. And I still have to watch season two and I have to watch Stranger Things. Don't say anything, but I'm gonna watch that this month, I think. So, Stranger Things, woo! Now it's time for the Pokemon stuff. I got two caps. I got this Ash Ketchum cap, but it's like the worst quality. Maybe I shouldn't have bought it off eBay for $3. It is really bad, look. What is that shape? What is that? I don't fucking know. Terrible cap, but it's fine. It looks cool in my room, so I guess I can just use it for decoration. Then uh, I got another cap, this Pikachu cap. <laughs> I don't know, I uh, saw it and I was like, I gotta, I got to have it. It reminds me of like Saved by the Bell Pikachu edition. So that's the thing. Caps don't actually suit me. I just like them, so. Ah! Whoa, that is really tight. My head is not that small. Why is the cap so big though? Um, that's the thing. So now I feel like a child, but that's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say by the bell. Anyway, Pokemon Go came out, and that meant that in our local game shop, fucking Pokemon toys were on discount. So I got a Meowth. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. So that's why I got a Meowth. I got a set of Pokemon cards, and I thought it would be fun to open this up. It's the Fates Collide Booster Pack. The one I picked has... I thought it had um, 
mega alakazam on it, but it actually has Delphox on it. Ooh, Delphox. Yeah. So, let me just open this up. I, I don't remember the last time I opened a fucking pack of Pokemon cards. I know that... Kelly always does this thing where she like picks up like are there like four rare cards in a pack? Like she puts them on the bottom. Right. We've got an energy card. Yay! We've got Carbink. Oh, ooh, nice actually. I don't this is really weird. I don't remember the last time I, I opened this. This it actually feels really good. Oh! Jigglypuff! Cute as hecky, has a little snifey and a little spoink in the back. Oh, it's cute! We've got a Riolu, little baby boy. Cute as hell as well. Ooh! Deerling. Also cute. Adorable. Oh man, I love the artwork on Pokemon cards. I think it's so cool. Maybe I'll do this more often. I like opening these packs, it's fun. Then we've got a Snubble, which is funny because I covered that Pokemon um, a while ago. Aww. Aww. It's under the table and it broke some pots. <gasps> yes! One of my favorites, we've got Wiggly Tough. Wiggly, Wiggly, Wiggly Tough. It is taking a little nap and being completely adorable. I fucking love Wiggly Tough, guys. Da! <gasps> this is so much more fun than I expected. Oh god, I love Dugong. This is great. This is great. I just need you in Pokemon Go, my friend. <laughs> A trainer card that has N on it. I like N. Cute as hell. Cute. N. Ooh! N. Take me on a magic ferris wheel ride. Oh look, it has a tiny little like Rubik's cube or something in the background. That's cute. Nice. And the last one. Woo! That one's crazy though. Reggie Rock. That is shiny as motherfucking fuckers. Shiny as heck. This is a thing now, right? Shiny Pokemon cards, like they are always like, there's always a shiny one or something, like cool. All right, that was actually quite fun to do. I'm gonna put those somewhere. Maybe I'll do this more often because packs of Pokemon cards aren't as expensive as I thought they were. I have been watching Game Grumps for the first time ever. And what I've been watching is the Pokemon Art Academy series. And um, it made me want to buy Pokemon Art Academy so I got it today, and I've been playing it for a little bit already, and I think it's actually really fucking fun. So, um, I'm gonna take this to CoxCon with me, play some of it on the plane, or like when I'm in bed and bored or whatever, and um, I hope this will uh, teach me how to draw things, because I'm really bad at drawing, guys. I can, I can barely draw a stick figure that is symmetrical, so. And last, but not least, my friend sent me Pokemon? Monopoly. Now there's one thing I want to say or ask. Why isn't this called Pokemonopoly? That is my question to you. It should have been called Pokemonopoly. Anyway, Pokemon Monopoly, Kanto region, really fucking cool. I should invite over some friends or like play this with my mom because she has been obsessed with Pokemon Go too. Good job, mom. Good fucking job. And um, cool as hell. So I, I, I really love this. I really, really love this. I've always wanted Pokemonopoly, and now I have it, and now I'm gonna play the shit out of it if I find friends. Or my mom. That was it for today. Um, yeah, I didn't even know what to say. I uh, had a good month. Things are going well. I'm enjoying, my YouTube has been growing, and um, I just wanna thank everyone for their support recently. You guys have been the fucking best and I love you all, and um, yeah, that's it. Mwah. <laughs>